crisis in Ukraine where a large Russian military convoy rolled through the streets of Crimea in the latest show of force. And President Obama Saturday called the leaders of France, Britain and Italy to discuss how to defuse the tense showdown. So let's bring ABC's Martha Raddatz, who is hosting this week. She joins us from Washington. Good morning to you, Martha. Good morning, Bianca. And President Obama is getting a lot of heat from Republicans for his handling of this crisis. Uh, I just want to read you a few comments. John McCain saying that it's, quote, feckless. Uh, Congressman Mike Rogers said that Russia is, quote, playing chess, and I think we are playing marbles. Is this fair criticism or just partisanship at work once again in Washington? Well, let's remember we've got midterm elections coming up, so there's got to be a little uh, partisanship here. And President Obama has been criticized in the past couple of years for his foreign policy. But I actually traveled this week with Secretary of State John Kerry throughout the region in Ukraine and Paris, and he was pretty much working nonstop trying to connect with all the world leaders. But what he really wanted to do is get the Russians and the Ukrainians together, that did not happen. And that really has to be a first step as they try to figure this out going forward, Bianca. And so what are the options for the U.S. at this point, Martha? Well, as far as we know, all they are saying is we want to de-escalate, we want to de-escalate. But they did put those visa sanctions forward. They're saying that they will put more sanctions on Russia. They're trying to get some cooperation from Europeans. They don't have all that much cooperation at this point. So I imagine what we'll see in the coming weeks is the pressure will be kept on. Vladimir Putin is not having any of it, though. He really hasn't budged beyond it. So this is one of those things that's so fascinating, but really could go on for a long time yeah. before there's any resolution. And all eyes will be on that important vote March 16th on whether Crimea will actually secede from Ukraine. Martha, thank you. You and, of course, Martha will have much more on all of this topic later on ABC's This Week.